Hello, today we're going to learn how to make a bib. And I thought, what better way than to do it out of some Easter material since Easter's coming up. I'm gonna make this for my great niece. To, and there is a free pattern attached. If you will go to the link below, you can download this free pattern. And what you'll do is you'll just match up the notches on here, hold it up to the light, and you can make sure it's the same. And then you're just going to tape those two pieces of paper together. And you're going to cut it out. your pattern. Okay, we have already pressed my material. We're going to place it down on the material. What I'm using today for my backing is terry cloth. And you can use the same material or you can use a different material for the lining. I mean for the backing. You can, if you want to use two pieces of cotton, you can put a layer of batting in between or just leave it with two pieces of cotton, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, we're going to place it where we want our Easter eggs, where we're going to cut it out, make sure the material underneath is even. Grab my pins. We're going to pin it down. You want to make sure you're away from the selvage edge so you don't get all those little holes on there. And next we're going to cut it out. helps if you'll put a sharp new rotary blade in it. Keep your fingers out of the way. Okay, now you're ready to unpin it. Okay, now we are going to place it the way I cut it out was the right sides were both facing out. So now we're going to put the right sides together. I could say right sides together. And it helps to cut them out at the same time. That way your all your raw edges are even. And place a few pins again. And then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and sew it together. And we're just going to leave a raw edge for turning. I'm going to leave an opening for turning it. 
we're ready to head to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm over at the sewing machine now and I've got my material with the right sides together. It's all pinned up. I've got the backing and I'm going to start a couple of inches above this corner right here. And I'm going to do a little bit of back stitching and then we're going to sew all the way around. I've got my stitch length set at a 2.5. It's easier to go around the curves if you'll put it in the needle down position. And then we're just going to start sewing and go all the way around. I'm raising the presser foot as I'm going around that curve and it helps the material lay flatter. It makes your curve nicer. stop at about three inches from where you started from. So we're going to stop about right there. Got it sewed all the way around and about left three inches open for to turn it. But first we're going to clip the corners. Okay next we're going to go turn the iron on and so we, our iron can be heating up so we can press it once we turn it right side out. But first we're going to start here and on all these edges you want to clip the curves. That way it lays a lot flatter when you are going to turn it inside out. Be careful not to cut into your stitches. We're going to turn it right side out. So you want to get your edges and push them through. Just pull all your little edges out. To where it's all even. Sometimes moisten my fingertips and it helps to smooth that out better. To where you can go to the ironing board and press it real even. We're going to press this under right here and then we're going to top stitch it all the way around one eighth of an inch away. Let's go press it.
Okay, next we're just going to take it and run it along the edge of the machine about one eighth of an inch. And we're going to sew all the way around the edge. Just guiding it right along my presser foot inside there. When I get to this opening, I'm gonna make sure it's all even. And just sew open, that'll sew close the opening. There you have it. Now we're going to put some Velcro right up here so it can close like that and it'll be done. Okay, let me get my Velcro. Okay, I've got the rough side. On the top right, and the loopy side on the bottom of this one, like this. And then we're just going to sew down the corners with this. Okay, I used the sticky back Velcro and it is shredding my thread and making a mess on the back. So I'm going to take those off and use Velcro without sticky back. I recommend using a little ripper to take it out. It works very good. Okay, that completely gummed up my needle. And so I had to switch out my needle and re-thread my machine. And I've got some Velcro here that is not sticky, so I have it kind of on where I need it to be. This is the rough side and this is the fluffy side over here. So you're gonna need it like that. So we're gonna try this again. Sew it down. works down it works good to have your needle in the down position so that you can turn the corners and leave your needle in there
There you go. We'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. We have both sides on. Fits around the baby's neck. Keeps their little Easter dress from getting all messy. It's been fun. I hope you enjoy making these.